Well, I must say, you know, after uh, a long summer of fishing, it sure is good to be back here on the land. And today I'm gonna, I'm setting a few rabbit snares. Uh, I'm not really sure how many I'm gonna sit. I just wanna make sure that I get enough for a meal. And I just hit two right there, one right there. And another one over right there. Right there. I had a nice double there last year and a few singles. I done good there. And now I really like uh, this near location right here under this fallen tree. You know, we could get a batch of snow anytime. And so the snow won't affect that snare like he would a snare in the open. And I've done really well here last year. Uh, uh, the first three checks, I had a rabbit each time here. Now that looks like a rabbit lead uh, goes on up that way there. Huh? Rabbit path. Comes down under this fallen tree right here. Yeah, what a clever spot for a snare. I could tie it off, or actually it'd be better to tie it off on this one. Have my snare there. See how this one makes it later on, I guess. Now, uh, today, mostly I'm going back to places where I had snares set before, so it's a lot easier. I, I already know where most of the leads or the trails, paths are too. But uh, later on, no, I'm going to... I'm gonna go to a different area and see if I uh, track down some more leads. Once you find good rabbit snare in places, you can use those same places year after year. And so, so I'm also gonna look for a few uh, new places, you know, use up, you know, set up some of the old places and uh, find some new ones as well. And next year, you know, I'll probably do the same thing again. And you'll, you'll get to know more and more ground that way. And yeah. And if you're steers in one area, well, then you could uh, sit them, sit snares in another area. I'm not seeing a whole lot of signs, so I'm going to put a few extra snares out, you know, because I really want to make sure that I, I get enough for a meal. And, you know, later on, uh, when the snow gets down, well, you'll see the sign a lot easier. Because, you know, uh, this time of year, they could run all over the place, you know. Uh, later on, when the snow gets down, it gets softer, they kind of stick to the same paths. It's just, you know, you beat down your paths, it just makes it easier for traveling, so... So anyway, uh, another one set. I'm going to tail a few more. Yeah. But I'll get in there rabbit. I'm going to be badly disappointed. Uh, when I set up this area last year, I put a scattered piece of ribbon around uh, just to help to find the places. And so I'll get this one reset here. And I've done good here. A couple, I had two or three in this spot last year. You can see this little bit of fur left on the stick there. Yep. So, you know. Just because I got a few here last year, don't mean I will this year, but uh, but uh, we'll wait and see, I guess. Uh, yeah, the pads looks like they use, like I said, but I've never seen no uh, rabbit buttons anywhere. And I, I look around a little bit, sometimes you'll see, the, you know, where they're pooping to, right? So, just ain't seen none. Piece of ribbon, set location. Well, I could probably take the ribbon out of it now. You know, I made enough trips. Uh, ribbon on down there <laughs> i made enough trips here now to know all the different places but i'm going to leave them there because sometimes you know you do get a batch like a fairly large batch of snow you know everything is going to look different so i'll be able to come up to the ribbon and pretty much make one kick with my foot and find the snare so so i'll leave them there for yet See no rabbit buttons, but it looks like it goes through there. Well, we had some uh, rain now yesterday evening, but last night it turned off a bit frosty. So, and this right here is a kind of like a new area for me for rabbit snare. And I just tailed the one snare here. And look at this. I guess I could say, you know, mission accomplished. Uh, you don't know, want to get a rabbit for a meal. And so, look at that. I got a rabbit here, but. Uh, uh, 
I'm still gonna leave my snares out, but uh, that's the main thing is just get a meal for now. And uh, I probably will even sit a couple of more snares, you know, because uh, I get a few rabbits, because later on when the snow starts, you know, it could get relentless and and uh, maybe a wall before I get snares out again. So, so I'll take advantage uh, of the nice fall weather. And uh, yeah, so that's one, and I still got a few snares left to check, so who knows, might get another one. But anyway, he's not a real big rabbit, but I'll make a meal from it. Uh, oh yeah, not bad though. Bigger than I thought he was. It's a lovely rabbit, and uh, yeah, he's gonna make a fine meal. And if I get another one, well, it'll be a, a meal for another day. Uh, yeah, it's still a bit brown, it's starting to turn white. Still brown on the back. Oh yeah gonna be fantastic i think i'm gonna make a rabbit stew if you want to see how i cook or make rabbit stew keep watching the video well i guess you heard of uh frosted flakes before but right here it's uh frosted over rabbit buttons oh another one right there so there's a lead that comes through here so i'll put another snare right here First, take off his head. Take that. Front leg, shoulder blade right there, no, right under. Next, then I take off the hind legs. And the pelvic bones right there, just run the way flush. And then pop it, see the joint there? Oh, hind leg. Now, if I had uh, a few to clean, I would clean them in the shed or even out on the land somewhere. And I never clean them, you know, where I got rabbit snares in it because they'll only dry in predators that could eat uh, rabbits out of your snares that you catch. Now, right here is the end of the rib cage. Just cut there a little bit. Cut there a little bit and just run the knife through that one, buck one back. Mm, so easy. rabbit liver and the kidneys is pretty good as well as well as the heart now the head is one of my favorite pieces i tell you nothing wrong with the front legs and the hind legs are even better more meat and a lot of people really love the backbone piece and uh, the other backbone piece with pelvic bone and that is really really good as well and like i said the tender box this is the one you put your stuffing in. So I'm gonna put all that there now like this in the refrigerator. And we'll be making rabbit stew very soon. Now that I'm waiting for the onion to fry in to uh, cut the rabbit in smaller pieces. So this is the hind leg. So I'm going to jointing right there. Huh. Just like that. And I'm just going to cut a little bit of meat off the hind leg as well. That one side there like that. And this is the other hind leg. Oop, take the joint there. And same thing, cut a little bit of meat out there because you know, the hind leg is kind of thick. Now there's a tender box, I usually keep seed for stuff, I'm going to fry them like this, I'm going to uh, separate the ribs from the, from the, the vertebrae piece, like that there. I always put the head in first.
her and kidneys in the front leg, rib cage, and the rest of the rib cage, and the last shoulder blade. I'll save the liver for last. Liver don't take long to cook. And now we're going to season with some salt. And some pepper. Well, I'm going to be quite honest. This smells fantastic already. Just give it a little shake and have a little peek at it. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. So I'll get some cabbage here. And some turnip. Some carrot. Oh gosh, can't forget about my liver. Okay. Yeah, just make sure everything is nice and snug there. And now, some potato. Good hearty meal. And whip my potato like this sometimes. I just leave a little dash of pepper on top of the spuds again. It's a slight amount, not too much. Like that. Put the lid back on. Oh, this smells unbelievable. Yeah, just take a little tiny bit for a taste test here now. All right, just a little taste test here now. The liver was the, the last to go in, was the first to come in. <laughs> just gotta give me that liver there first. Oh. Oh, mm. oh my God, that's so good. A little bit of the cabbage with the turnip. Oh yeah, yeah, nice. A little hot. A little bit of turnip and potato. Mmm. Carrot. This here is a little bit of rabbit meat that I cut from uh, the hind leg. Oh. Mm. Oh wow, that's really good. and cabbage cabbage and potato now sometimes I'll have more liquid there and put like a little bit of thickening in it but I'm just gonna enjoy that like that that, that is so good I'm just gonna leave it be